Hello, this is Kristen Wright doing Unit 4's Reflection. So the question is, is when was the last time you saw true active sportsmanship using Luke 6.31, do to others as you would have them do to you? I was coaching in my first state championship as a head coach, and we're in the locker room minutes before we run out to take the court at University of California of Irvine, and um, one, my 6'2 right side, one of our starters, tells me that she forgot her jersey, and my 5'5 five, five defensive specialist, not that height means anything, um, but she, she really hadn't played a whole lot um, that year, um, and she knew her role. Um, offered up her jersey to this young lady. Um, and I was thinking of all the things I could say, but to me that was one of the ultimate standout points in my coaching career and a very uncomfortable situation um, because it's almost as though I had to like stamp that decision and approve it. Um, but she was just certain that that was the right thing to do. There was nothing else we could do. We didn't have any time to, you know, figure anything else out. That was the thing to do. And um, anyways, it just said a lot about her character. And um, how does Luke 631 do to others as you would have them do to you? I, I just think this young lady, her name is Shelby, um, I think that um, she did what she would want someone to do with her with maybe a, a bigger role. Um, and it it has to do with, it, you know, it dealt with a team dynamic and knowing roles. Um, but I think that she was able to see the bigger picture and be selfless. And it just was really spiritually mature, to be honest. Um, and just watching the the clip that we watched with Michael Lynn um, and Demetrius Demores, that was just such a um, touching um, video. It gave me goosebumps. Um, so the first um, statement, Michael Lynn was a, was the winner, and Demetrius Demores was a champion. Um, how does, how does that, um, how can I respond to that in light of what I do? Well, I'm a collegiate coach and, um, being that I'm a coach, I think that, um, I, I, you know, I, I like to be like Demetrius. Demetrius is, um, he, you know, it's not just about the, the win and he proved that. And so he, he saw the bigger picture, and I think that's what's important here is that, that you know, there's a lot more to life than just winning, and there's, there's the journey, and he saw that this was Michael Wynn's one moment, and he let it be amazing, you know, he didn't just roll over and play dead and let him pin him he he kind of played with him and that was was the the cool part at his age that he he understood that and did that and didn't have to by the sounds of the the video clip um he kind of got to make the choice and how he wanted to handle it um and I just think as a coach we got to see the bigger picture and true true truly great impactful coaches can both play to win, but get the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is more important than winning, if you had to choose. Um, strength doesn't come from the gym, it comes from the soul. Um, I I agree with that. Um, I think that, you know, who you are within is way far more powerful than, um, and it'll play out in your life, than you know, what you do, banners, the glory, um, physicality, the outward, um, that the world strives for. So I think that, 
you know, our soul. For me, I, I take that and I look at that. Um, you know, I connect that with, you know, spiritually, the why, why are we here? Um, and for me, that answer is, is um, you know, we have the Lord and he wants to use us and use our platform. My platform is coaching and he's given me a love for volleyball um, and a love for people and and a love for him. And you combine all that and you have a great venue to change lives. And um, so as long as I keep that first and I'm using the platform and yes, absolutely, we're playing to win. Um, but winning is relative to the person so to me it's just doing your best to be your best and um scoreboard's going to reflect it some of the time most of the time but not always and the bigger picture is more important so i hope everyone has a wonderful week and i hope we're all pursuing the bigger picture um whatever that is to you all right take care